there were a couple of people on Staten Island that managed to um, break out of the, the little insular group that we had, the group of musicians. It must have been about 30 people that you know all played in the same bands over and over again, year in and year out. Um, and one of the guys was Earl Slick, um, who uh, wound up playing with David Bowie uh, in the, uh, on the Diamond Dogs tour. And that was like 1974. I think, uh, 74, 75. Um, and um, uh, just on a, uh, on a whim, a friend of mine uh, stopped at my parents' house uh, one night. Uh, he said, I'm, uh, I'm going over to Slick's house. And Earl Slick lived like three blocks from where, I, where my parents' house was. I uh, said, I have to take Slick to the airport. Uh, you want to take the ride to JFK with me? I said, yeah, sure, no problem. No, I'll, I'll sit with you. Uh, we went to Slick's house, and we walked in the front door. Um, he had his luggage right by the door and a couple of guitar cases. And he, and he said to my, me, me and my friend Tommy, um, uh, he said, either one of you guys want to play bass for Todd Rundgren? And at that time, I was playing keyboards with Cherry Vanilla. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and I said, "Yeah, sure." I said, "Tom, let's let's both you know let's both go for the audition." He said, "Then Tommy uh, Marangello, who is still a very good friend of mine to this day, he uh, he works with Van Morrison right now, actually." Um, said, oh, "No, I don't want to. I, I don't want to do that. No, you go ahead. You do it. You, you, you go." I said, fine, all right. So Slick said, uh, all right, once we get to the a airport, call Michael Kamen, who is a friend of Roger Powell's, who heard about the audition. So call Michael Kamen, tell him that you're interested, and, and you guys work out the details. So I got to JFK. I think it was, I, I think it was only a dime to call at that. Maybe it was like 20 cents or something like that to make a phone call from a pay phone. I called Michael Kamen and, and, and I said, Michael, Slick told me that you are interest, that you heard about an audition that Todd Rundgren is looking for a bass player. I said, and I'm, I'm interested in, in the audition. Do you think you could recommend me? He said, I didn't know you were a bass player. I thought you were a keyboard player. I thought you were a piano player. I said, well, no, I, I, my, orig my, my first instrument was guitar and then I, I, I'm, a, I'm really a bass player too. He said, oh, okay, I'll recommend you. So I called, and the next day um, I, I borrowed $20 from my Uncle Chris, and uh, I took a, an Adirondack Trailways bus up to Woodstock, New York, um, to audition for Utopia. And the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs>